Hey guys, welcome back. Whatever we have discussed in last video, it's singly linked list, which means every node holding value and another node, which means reference of next node. So this is the node. This will hold the value and pointer or reference to the next node. Let's take, we are going to add five elements in singly linked list. Let's take five, eight, 3, 1 and 2. Each and every elements stored in individual node and every node having the address of next node. So how we can represent this node type in programming? Let's take class node. As I said earlier, each and every node having two parts within it. One is actual data or value. Here we are going to store integer value. So int value. This is one of my attribute inside the node class. And second part is pointer or reference to the next node means basically it's node type. So node of next. Note that if we don't have any next element, node references pointing to null. Okay, let's add these elements in linked list. This is first node. It will hold value 5 and reference of next node. Anyways, initially it's pointing to null and this is the second node and we are going to store h onto this node once we added second element first node references pointing to this second node like this way second node points to third node which is holding the value 3 and third node pointing to fourth node and fourth one will pointing to fifth one so we can store 1 and 2 here and this is last node references pointing to null in this linkage list first node always be the head node always remember that first node always be the head node if we want to search this element from the linked list we have to travel from head node in singular linked list we can travel in forward direction only not backward direction if we are in third element where you can travel next obviously you have to travel to the next node that is fourth node right in this node having the references of next node so from here we don't know where we came from which means we don't have address of the previous node okay now we will see complexities for basic operations like access inserting new element in linked list and deleting the elements and search the elements from the linked list if it tries to search the element in the linked list we have to travel from the head node for example if we search element 3 in the list first we have to check this is 3 or not no right then we have to move to the next node by helping of this reference is this 3 no again we have to move to the next element is this three yes we got it so what is the complexity of search operation it's o of n so every time we wanted to search something from this list we have to travel from the head node till we find the elements which is which is we are looking for assume that the elements we are looking for present in the first node what will be the complexity for that it's o of one but this is best case scenario Whenever we talk about complexities, we have to go for worst case scenario. We have to consider worst case scenario only, right? So, for the worst case scenario, search operation complexity will be O of N. So, what about insertion? If we add new element as the first element of the linked list, we can directly add the element here and we can point the reference to this next node and we can make this node as the head node. That's it, right? So, this complexity is O of 1. But this is not the case for all the time, right? We have to consider worst case scenario while finding the complexity. Let's assume that the element should be added in middle of the linked list. How to do that? Let's take this is new node. We are going to insert here. It have value and pointer. Means pointer means it's referencing to next node. First, we have to remove this reference and we have to point this reference to new node and we have to point this new node reference to the next node so 
we have to travel from head node and we have to move this location and new node should be added here as part of insertion operation we have to point the previous node references to this new node and this new node references should be point to next node so complexity of insertion is o of n let's go for deletion if we delete first element from the list we can directly delete that and make this node as head node that's it but if you want to delete the element from the middle of the linked list it's not simple as delete the first element from the linked list right let's take we want to delete third element from the linked list we have to travel to this node from the head node and we should delete this node and remap these references from this node to this so what about the complexity obviously o of n because we have to travel from head node to delete the node from the linked list and complexity for the access operation is also o of n because we have to travel from the head node to find the elements from the linked list right see you guys in the next video